Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Princess Beyond Passions. My name is Princess. I'd like to thank my channel members, all of you who come back to view my videos and my live streams. Thank you all so very much. If you're coming across my channel for the very first time, you are welcome. Please do not pass by without smashing that red button that says subscribe and Turn on the notification bell to all so that you'll be notified of my new uploads. Thank you so very much for subscribing. In this video, I have accepted a challenge from Cost Reps Corner. He tagged me to 10 reasons why I don't like either YouTube, YouTube content creators and everything that has to do with YouTube, all right? So I'm not able to give you all the 10 reasons in this video. I will have to divide it into two. So please stay tuned. Welcome back. One of the things that I do not like about some of the content creators that are on YouTube is this misconception. When I was starting out, I did not start out as an informed YouTube content creator. Of course, most of us who started out did not start out as informed content creators. I just started because I had things that I wanted to give out to the, you know, to I wanted to reach out to people. I wanted to you know, um, help other people with the knowledge that I have, with the information that I have. I wanted to help people out there and I started by doing that. And as a matter of fact, I am actually fulfilled in that area, although I am escalating it now. There are some misconceptions, so to speak, misconceptions. For those people who stream live, when I was learning to, you know, uh, move around and make friends on the YouTube, I visited some live streams and some of the people in our community had some misconceptions, you know, something like you're not supposed to give emojis or use emojis in a channel that is not monetized yet. One day I started I, I started learning how to stream and some people came into my house and some of them were leaving emojis and somebody had to virtually was screaming in the live session in the LS saying, oh, she's not monetized. Why are you giving her emojis? Well, I don't know if it is a crime for content creators to use emojis in a live stream or in a live chat of a channel that is not monetized yet so i would like youtube team to clarify that for us are we supposed to use emojis or not in live chats of a channel that is not monetized and if we are not supposed to use emojis in such a channel why are the emojis there that's the question i kept asking when i was you know, when people kept telling me, no, don't use, we can't use emojis in your house because you are not monetized. And then I go out somewhere else and somebody else starts chiding me and scolding me for using emojis in a channel that is not monetized. And I'm asking, if we are not supposed to use emojis in these channels that are not monetized, for example, why do YT leave such emojis in there for us to use anyways? They could have been grayed out if we weren't if we weren't supposed to use them, right? So that's one of the misconceptions that I I don't like. I need clarification on that. Another misconception is this. You know, in such live chats, you know, uh when you tag someone's name in full, someone's um channel in full, for example, you you say at Princess Beyond Passions. Whitey highlights it in orange to enable you to see so that it calls your attention to enable you to see that, oh, Princess Beyond Passions, someone is calling on you. Someone is addressing you 
or someone is giving you a shout out in in a live chat that is why whitey highlights the full name with, with orange right but when i was learning to move about and learning the ropes people kept taking offense at such a thing if you're the type who uses a laptop for instance when you tag someone's full name when you write at you know the a at this at when you write it and you start putting the person's full name the laptop will help you to complete the full name and then you enter it high why it highlights it such a name in orange it makes it easier for us to see that somebody is addressing us for example if you enter a live chat of about 10,000 people where 10,000 people are in that live chat and all the chat is just going like that It becomes difficult if someone is talking to you in that in that live chat For you to see it easily. So whitey is helping us by Highlighting our name that is tagged a channel name that is tagged in full, right? But people take offense Why is that misconception out there? So I don't like that people host live sessions and keep talking, you know, some things that they don't know anything about. I mean, if you are going to host a live session and you are going to give us tips on YouTube, if you're going to give us tips on YouTube, read these things properly, do your proper research and give us informed information and not send out misconceptions out there to people like us who are just growing and who are just coming up all right that's the second misconception that i had when i was growing up and i don't like it all right okay that's number one misconceptions number two thing that i don't like about youtube um content creators is you get into a live stream and you find the host mocking a fellow upcoming uh, YouTuber who they know is young and probably has no experience in the act of YouTubing. I don't like it. I'll give you a good example. When I was growing just last year here, I can remember a few live sessions that I got into, a particular one and you know when you get into a live chat there are terms that some people use you know in the live chat when you see a novice or somebody who is just upcoming a channel who is just upcoming in a, a newly growing channel you would know or if the channel if the person is coming to your house for the very first time and the person enters and says oh hi host this is my first time here like most of us did when we were growing up, right? You would know that this person is probably a new person. You quickly check the person out and you'll see if the person's subscriber base, subscriber count is just about 200 or 300 or less than 500. Of course, you know that this person is still relatively new in the art of making friends or in the art of live chat and all that. And so if the person makes a mistake or uses a term that is not so not what other people usually use or a term that he or she isn't supposed to use in such a live chat all you needed to do is just correct the person politely and say oh uh, this is how we do it this is how we do it you correct the person politely but I don't like it that some hosts of live streams would take it upon themselves and begin to mock such a person in fact some of them will tell you get out of my house what do you think you're doing get out of my house something like I i'm trying to raise money here for some people to do something and you're here telling me that you you, you are looking for bananas get out of my house get out of my house you know something like that I i'm not exaggerating i just don't want to mention him i have said it in my videos before you know in one of the videos uh where i i I think it's the video about my struggles as an upcoming YouTuber, right? And it's embarrassing when when a, a young and upcoming 
youtuber is embarrassed like that in someone else's house someone who is supposedly a big youtuber in that community right so if you are a big youtuber or you are relatively one year or two years old in the art of youtubing it means that you ought to know and particularly if you are a live streamer like me when people come into your channel when people come into your live chat you ought to know who is relatively new in the art worst case scenario you check the person out and you see the subscriber base right and hey people stop embarrassing the upcoming youtubers stop embarrassing us who are upcoming it's so discouraging and it's so demoralizing some people can actually um abandon youtube entirely because of mockery okay i am going to continue from here in my next video so please be on the lookout that was the end of part one thank you